All right, strap in because I've got a huge haul here. I recently went to the Priceline Beauty Prescription Live event down in Sydney. This is a huge showcase where we get to hear from all different brands, hear from Priceline about their top selling products. And then we go into the trade show where we get to go around to each individual stand, talk to the brands, hear about the new products, and we get gifted so many goodies to try. It is a very overwhelming experience. I am so grateful that I get invited. Like, what the hell? This was my second time going. I've got so many goodies here to show you. I am just so excited. So let's get into it. Let's start with makeup. We've got some mascaras. This is the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. I've heard pretty good things about this one online. I've got the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High. This is the Cosmic Black version. So it gives you bolder, more volumized lashes. I actually have already tested this one out. So I will link the reel that I made down below if you wanna go and see the difference between that mascara and the original. Now Maybelline does partner up with TerraCycle and if you haven't heard of that or even seen it in your Priceline stores yet, you can actually go and recycle all of your empty makeup and beauty products. And they had a cool display there and they show you that your products get turned into like these little plastic beads and then they get used to make things like swing sets at playgrounds. It's really cool. So definitely save your empties, go into store. You'll see like the big cardboard bin that you can go and dump all your empty products into. And then I've got the Rimmel Wonder Volume Thrill Seeker Mascara. I actually tested this one out today. So you will see that video. Spoiler alert though, I love it. <laughs> Next from Barry M, I've got this Neon Bright Eyeshadow Palette and get a look at this. If you just want a basic colorful eyeshadow palette in your collection, like nothing too big and overwhelming, I think this is a really great option because you've literally got all of the colorful shades. It's been a while since I've dipped into some really bright shades though, so I'm a little bit nervous to get into that one, but love the look of it. Okay, this next product I am so excited about. It is from Models Prefer, which is one of Priceline's like own home kind of brands. And it is the Wonder Brow Lamination Gel. So this is a dupe for the Quick Flick Quick Brow and the, is it Refi, Refi, Refi? <laughs> They've also got a product like this. So you've got your brow gel in here that you use to cover your brows and then slick them into place with the comb. Oh, I'm so excited to try this out. Let me know if you wanna see a reel testing that. By the way, I'm not sure of the exact date, but that product launches in October. So if it is available, I will have it linked down below for you to go and check out. But otherwise it might still be a few weeks. Not sure. Next from the Balm, I got one of their classic Meet Matte Hughes lipsticks. Now the Balm was showcasing the fact that they have revamped their palette. So they've gotten rid of the mirrors and the magnets. So this now means that the packaging is fully recyclable. Recyclable? Recyclable. Recyc... Huh? Recyclable. <laughs> Why does it sound wrong? So all you have to do is actually push the eyeshadow pen out. That was actually a pretty big focus that I noticed amongst all of the brands. They are either making small changes to products that already exist or new launches. They are finding different ways to make the products more eco-friendly. Revlon was showcasing their super lustrous lipsticks and I picked up one here. This is in the shade. 008 show off. It is a matte formula and it is the most beautiful red. Look at that. Let me swatch it for you. Oof, so creamy. Look at that. Look at that. This line actually comes in 54 different shades, so there are plenty to choose from. Next from the Kind Collective, we've got the Hydrating Lip Elixir. This has shea butter, mango butter, avocado oil, and jojobo oil. Jojobo? <laughs> Hobo. Hobo. 
Oh, it also has hyaluronic acid. It's just a super hydrating formula that's going to help soften the lips. If you haven't tried the Kind Collective, they've got a range of really beautiful products. She actually swatched the... They've got like some like highlighting drops that you can like mix into foundation or put on as a highlighter and oh my god it was beautiful i need to go into store and pick that up immediately i recently tried out their um mineral powder although the shades i had were a little off i need to go get the lighter shade but the powder was beautiful it's the first time i've ever used a mineral powder and it just gave beautiful coverage like way more coverage than i was expecting my skin still looked glowy it was just like it blew me away i wasn't expecting that so it says here that the kind collective is cruelty free and vegan they are australian owned no nasties paraben free and they are actually pretty affordable now what i love is their packaging these boxes just feel so sleek like they're not um like waxy i don't know go into store and just touch the products it feels so luxe but it's really affordable now they have this really fun stand talking about different dupes so the milani baked blush which is an absolute like cult classic favorite was a dupe for the nars blush in orgasm and they gave us this little leaflet here with some of their favorite skincare and makeup dupes They've actually redesigned the Milani blush packaging. I've still got my very first like original Luminoso. Oh, what a time. I probably wouldn't use that on my face. So I'm very glad that I've got a new one to try. <laughs> Some other dupes they've got are the Maybelline New York Lifter Gloss is a dupe for the Fenty Gloss that everyone loves. The NYX Sweet Cheek blush a dupe for the rare beauty blush we've got the l'oreal true match serum a dupe for the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation which is good to know because i am obsessed with the l'oreal true match liquid foundation one of my favorite foundations next i've got some lip products from karen murel i hope i'm saying that right but how stunning is this packaging all of the lipsticks have different artwork on the packaging. It is so stunning. I've actually never heard of this brand. Have you guys seen it in Priceline before? So I've got a lip liner and a lipstick here. Now, Karen Murel, I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, the logo of the brand is Nothing Nasty Touches My Lips. So this is a New Zealand based brand and it says here that they do not contain any mineral oils, parabens or preservatives. And I remember her saying that like, it's about how much lipstick you actually digest when you're wearing it. So she doesn't want any nasties in it. No coal tar, carmine, mineral oils, parabens, a few other words that I cannot say. <laughs> but I have the shade 02 and it is a beautiful nude. Even just look at the lipstick itself. Like, come on just beautiful oh my god that is my kind of nude i cannot wait to try this one next i got one of the eco tools bio blenders and this is a biodegradable sponge they have been out for a while but can you just like believe that the sponge is biodegradable you literally put it in your home compost <laughs> what the hell so it says here that it has recyclable plastic biodegradable paper it's vegan and cruelty free and i am a sponge snob as I'm sure most of you know, I have tried some of the EcoTools sponges in the past and they are definitely higher up on my list than others. So I'm excited to dip into this, well, dip this into my products and give it another go. I really like the shape of the EcoTools sponges as well. These flat edges are actually really nice to work with. And then lastly, for the kind of makeup category, I've got some lashes, starting with the Ilua Eco Lash and Stash Lashes. Now these are in the style date night, which is, oh my God, just look at that. So beautiful. I like how they get a bit longer on the end there. And what is cool about these is that the packaging is 100% recyclable. And of course, as you know, lashes are reusable. You don't just use them once and throw them out. You can use them multiple times. And so what they've done with this packaging is made this cool little box that you can put them back in, fold it up, tuck in the tab, Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> so this range comes in four different styles and they retail for 
I've got a picture here of the rest of them. So depending on your lash preference. I just think that's such a cool way to store your lashes. You don't see them if they're looking a bit manky and they are small, compact, and just easy to store. And then some lashes from Ardell, they actually had like this little wheel that you got to spin and that determined what gift you were given. And I got the mega pack, look at this. Opens up here and look at all these lashes. Oh my God. These are all the magnetic lashes, which I've never tried before. We've got all different styles here as well. These are the Demi Wispies. Have you used magnetic lashes before? Let me know if you have and if you like them. I, I know they like sound a little bit scary, but the lady assured me that they are super easy to use. Oh my God, look at these, so beautiful. Next, I've got some nail products. So I've got this nail polish by Barry M. They actually have quite a big selection to choose from. From Sally Hansen, they have released this Miracle Gel. So it comes with a nail color and a top coat. And this is said to give you a gel-like finish at home. Really, really cool. It comes in a variety of different shades as well. And then from Kiss, they released a bunch of press on nails, which have been huge at the moment. But if you're not into really long nails, I think that you will like these because they are short. Like, look at that. You don't have to trim them down. They're just a regular sized nail. I think press on nails need to do this more. Like I love a good long nail, but some of them are like a bit too long. I'm excited for this because I think that they will just be really nice when you need your nails to look just fresh and polished. Comes in a variety of different shades as well. They come with the little sticky tabs. You literally just stick them on. So easy. Absolutely loving press on nails. The next product is from the brand Wrinkles Schminkles. And if you haven't heard of them, what they make are different patches that are meant to help with your wrinkles. So I've got the eye patches here and also the forehead wrinkle patch. They also make a chest one, which I really want to try because I sleep on my side and I got bigger boobs. And when I wake up in the morning, you know, she's all creased. So that would be a good one to try. But it says here that it is a medical grade wrinkle relieving silicone patch and it's reusable up to eight to 10 times. So you just need to make sure that your skin is dry and clean. So no skincare. Um, pop the patch on for best results wear while you sleep or one to two hours for a boost and then peel the patch off putting it back on the sheet and it will help to prevent your skin from creasing or wrinkling compresses skin to flatten and smooth wrinkles help skin to retain moisture and hydration the forehead one I think I can give it a pretty good workout too because I haven't got a little Botox touch up in a while so it'd be interesting to see what it does. <laughs> if you've tried these, leave me a comment down below because I'm super interested in hearing some reviews. All right, let's go into a bit of body care, hair care, and then skin care. Like I told you to strap in, so I hope that you're ready for this long video because we're only about halfway done, honey. Now, I'm sure you have all seen this brand in Priceline before. I cannot believe I haven't got around to trying it yet, and it is Sunday. Like how cute is the packaging? It's like whipped cream, but for your body. So I've got the coconut cream scent and it is a whipped shower foam. This store was really fun because they had a bunch of the products set up and you had to throw a ball and knock the can over. And whatever was under that can was the product that you got. So they're still sending that out, which is really exciting. So it says that you, you give it a shake, squeeze it out upside down and just lather up in the shower and then admire your silky smooth skin. It's cruelty free, vegan and made in Australia. We got to meet the owner of this brand. She was so lovely and just happy and excited to be there and share her product. I am going to put this into my shower immediately and test this out. Clinton better not steal it all. Next, we've got a new one by QV and this is the Ceramides Moisturizing Lotion. Now, I've never used QV before, but I know that they are great for sensitive skin. So this one here says that it is formulated with added niacinamide and glycerin for a hydrated, glowy complexion. So I have the lotion, but within the ceramides range, you can also get a cleanser and a tub of moisturizing cream. 
Next from Sunbum, I've got the Mineral Tinted Face Lotion, SPF 30. They also gifted some of their SPF 15 lip balms. Oh. <laughs> so I've got pomegranate, mango, and I also dipped into another one just recently when I was away over at Stratty. Right, so let's open this up and have a look. This is a tinted sunscreen oh my god it oh my god it feels beautiful so this is it here as you can see it's not like a super dark tint so i have a feeling this could work really well for me it feels like benefit professional primer just more silky like a thinner formula oh my god that feels beautiful okay i need to get into this immediately immediately it says it is fragrance free which is fantastic vegan cruelty free and gluten free next i've got another spf and this is the beach fox spf 50 plus now this is really fun because it actually comes in different scents so i have grapefruit here and i did use this over the weekend i love the spray applicator and it actually sprays clear it's very lightweight it doesn't feel greasy or heavy on the skin and the scent isn't like strong and overpowering it's just a nice just subtle scent it also comes in vanilla lime and coconut really really fun bright packaging so you won't miss it in your store it's four hours water resistant and says it's suitable for sensitive skin all right into some hair care now if you have been on instagram or tiktok i'm sure you have seen an ad pop up for georgie main and i picked up the 10 minute hair mask i actually have quite thick wavy hair it gets dry really easily so i was super excited to be able to get my hands on this and test it out they actually have quite a big range we've got a scalp scrub shampoo conditioner hair growth spray and anti-frizz serum the anti-frizz serum is next on my list but as for the mask, it comes in this huge tub. It's 220 mils. It contains grapeseed oil, Abyssinicia oil, Abyssinicia. <laughs> what that does is improves shine and moisturization. It's got aloe vera, shea butter, and coconut oil. Repairs dry and damaged hair, safe for colored and bleached hair. It's made in Australia and is vegan and cruelty free. I am so pumped to get into this. I can't wait, like once I finished filming this, to go into this basket and like disperse all the goodies throughout the house where I'm gonna use them. <laughs> From Batiste, we've got a new dry shampoo range. This is the Batiste Naturally, and this contains 100% natural extracts. So I've got the coconut milk and the hemp seed oil here. It does come in two other scents, and I have used this before, it's just a more lightweight dry shampoo. So if you find that the regular dry shampoo is maybe too much for your hair, then this is a great option. This one says it helps calm flyaways and frizz. It's vegan, has recyclable packaging, an invisible finish, and a delicate scent. That's the thing, like I don't like really overpowering strong scents. So it's nice when things just have a light, just a light scent, you know, like, oh, that's nice. I'm pretty sure this was a new brand too. It's called the Hair Boss. And I have here the Semi-Permanent Shine Spray. So this is a heat activated shine spray for dull and unruly hair. That's me, that's why I always slick it back. <laughs> it gives long lasting shine, anti-humidity properties and helps protect hair from damage. That sounds amazing. I think my hair is really going to like that. As I said before, it's quite dry. And especially when I use heat afterwards, it can look a little you know, frazzled. So something like this might really help with keeping that hydration in and having some shine. Another anti-frizz product here. I really don't know what happened to the packaging. Like my bag must have got a bit wet on the way home. But this is the John Frieda Frizz Ease All-in-One. This is a serum that tames frizz and protects against heat and humidity. Now I did get the extra strength because of my hair type, but they also have another one for more fine, straight hair as well. Tames frizz, protects against heat, repels humidity, hydrates and adds shine. Tick, 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 yes, thank you, mm, mm Next from the brand Cake, I have the Thick Trick, and this is a volumizing styling 
foam, which is really interesting because it's quite liquidy in there. So this says it's a body boosting styler that lifts and plumps for thick and lasting volume. That actually sounds amazing because whenever I do my hair right, down here, beautiful, thick, luscious, whatever. Up here, flat, dull. So this could be a good product to really put into my roots before styling. This Airy Dream Foam will smooth and plump for jacked up styles with refined shine. Never sticky or stiff, excellent. All right, let's give it a pump, see, see what the deal is. Oh, well that's cool, isn't it? Oh my God. That smells so good. What is that scent? Pomegranate green tea and ginseng. Very nice. <sighs> Okie dokie. We're up to the skincare folks. We're up to the skincare. Starting with one of my absolute favorite moisturizers ever. This is a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel. I fly through this like it's going out of fashion. I've literally got a tub of empties down there that I need to film and I'm pretty sure there's like six of these in that tub. Now, what they've done with this is they have reformulated it. So let's pray that it is still as good as ever. I trust them, I think it will be, but it says that it contains five times more hydration for glowing skin. So you do have a few different moisturizers in this line. We've got the water gel, the nourishing cream, and the nighttime. Now, I was already pretty excited about the reformulation and the new packaging. It does look very nice with the new font, but what they've also done is made the packaging refillable. How about that? So now you can just buy these from Priceline and put back in here, which for me is freaking fantastic because as I just said, I fly through them. So that is less waste that I am putting out there. I know it is still a plastic refill, but it does say here that it uses 89% less plastic than buying an entire new jar. From the top of my head, I'm pretty sure she said that the refills are $29.95. They are always on sale anyway, so that's when I pick mine up. Next, I've got a foaming wash from the brand As Clear Action. I hadn't actually heard of this brand before, but it is targeted for acne prone skin, which, hello, that is me. So within the range, there's the wash, a medicated lotion. It's an azalic, am I saying that right? Acid, 20%. They've also got a day moisturizer with SPF 30 and a soothing gel. So the cleanser here says it's gentle um, and formulated to reduce levels of pimple causing bacteria and you can use it morning and night. So I'll definitely give that a go and see if it helps improve my skin. You never know. Next, I've got the Anti-Irritation Night Cream from the brand A Bit Hippie. And this is another brand that I hadn't heard for before. Heard of before. Like... Where have I been hiding? Seriously. Anyway, this night cream says that it contains hyaluronic acid, jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, and marshmallow root extract to intensely hydrate and give your skin a vitamin boost. Love that. It does have a touch of lactic acid in it though, which is an AHA, um, and that helps to buff and brighten your skin. I love the packaging. The ladies behind the brand were so sweet. It is vegan. Aussie, non-toxic, plant-derived ingredients, and they do irritation-free or your money back. So, next from the brand Neostrata, I've got the Resurface Glycolic Renewal Smoothing Cream. Now, Neostrata has a few different ranges within the brand. They've got the Resurface, I've got the Enlighten, and they also have an acne targeted range, which I've used all of it, I think. I love the cleanser. I'm actually using it at the moment. But this here is a 10% AHA cream. So that helps dull and rough skin texture, fine lines and wrinkles. And then I've got the Dark Spot Corrector, which I am really excited to try. This one says it's for dark spots, age spots, sunspots, and uneven skin tone. Neostrata does use a lot of active ingredients within their skincare. If you're finding that the products you're using just aren't giving you what you need. I would definitely check out this range because from what I've tried so far, it is fantastic. From La Roche Posay, I've got the Effaclare Serum Ultra Concentrate. 
Now, I don't think I've used any La Roche Posay skincare before, but this one here says it contains salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and soothing niacinamide. It aims to target persistent imperfections and marks, visible pores, and is also suitable for acne prone skin. So to me, these are quite strong ingredients. I don't think I would be using like all of this at once. Definitely go in slow one at a time, but I hear great things about this brand and their skincare. So I'm really excited to dive into this one. All right, The Ordinary, always coming out with fun new skincare at really affordable prices. So here I've got the Alpha Arbiton 2% plus HA. Now, what the hell does that mean? Great question, let's have a read. So this is a water-based serum and it is specifically designed to target uneven skin tone and visibly improve pigmentation. Okay, I like the sound of that. I do get quite a lot of pigmentation from any pimples or breakouts. They just leave a red mark for ages. So this bottle is quite large. It's 60 mil and it retails for $28.30. It says that it combines a high concentration of purified alpha arbitin. I hope I'm saying that right, which is a well-known brightening ingredient. From Olay, I've got the Regenerist Antioxidant Vitamin B3, C, and E. So it says here that it instantly hydrates for soft, smooth skin, visibly improves rough texture, it's non-greasy, won't clog pores, and is lightweight. From the brand Skin Proud, I've got the Frozen Over Moisturizer. And this is a super interesting one. You actually put it in the freezer. So it retails for $31.99. It's a gel to ice moisturizer enriched with super hydrating hyaluronic acid, uh, aloe vera extract to calm, and lemon extract that works to brighten and treat hyperpigmentation. So it's just a clear gel but once you put it in the freezer, it fully changes. I am so excited to try this, especially coming into the hotter months. Like how cooling will this feel after a hot day? And then lastly for skincare, I've got two products here by Antipodes. Now I've never tried this brand before, but after talking to some of the ladies at their little stall, I need to get into this because they have got some beautiful products. So here I've got the Probiotic Skin Rescue Hyaluronic Mask and also the Probiotic Ferment Revitalize Serum. If you've tried anything from this brand, please leave me a comment down below letting me know what it is and your experience with it because everything just sounded amazing and I'm so surprised I've never tried it before, and especially because they are at such affordable prices being available at Priceline. The mask can be used on all skin types, but especially when the skin is blemished, sensitive, or stressed, just apply a generous layer over the face and neck two to three times a week, leave on 15 minutes, yada, yada, yada. It says that it will recover, replenish, and reclaim healthy skin. All right, and then I've got a few last things to show you here, starting with the Oral-B 3D Whitening Emulsions. So this is a paste and this like funky wand. So it actually comes in this stand here. You put the paste onto the wand and apply it to your teeth. You don't have to sit around and wait for it. You don't have to put one of those blue lights up against it. Like you literally just apply it and go. I'm really excited to use this because I have got my teeth professionally whitened once before and the sensitivity that come afterwards. I don't think I'd do it again. And then lastly, I've got some pads and tampons from the brand Femme Organic. Now, first of all, how beautiful is the packaging? Like, let's just take a moment. Stunning. So this was a family owned brand. There was actually a brother and sister there. And first of all, I was just impressed that there was a man there. I was like, good on you. Out here talking about pads and tampons. Like I freaking love it. So these are hypoallergenic, biodegradable materials, vegan friendly and no pesticides are used. So it says here that the pads have organic cotton core, organic top sheet um, wings and the wrap is biodegradable. They're ultra thin, comfortable and discreet. <sighs> All right, well that is everything. That is everything I was ever so kindly gifted from the Priceline Beauty Prescription Live event. I cannot believe it. It was so much fun. I had the best day and I am so excited 
as I've said probably 18,000 times already, to dip into all these products and test them out. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what product you're most interested in seeing. I can either talk about it on YouTube or do a reel or like review on my Instagram or TikTok. I didn't actually vlog this time around, but if you want to see my vlog from the last event, then I will link that down below. If you're new here, I would love it if you would take a look around and consider subscribing. You can also come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I hope you are all having a fabulous day wherever you are, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.